It's a dark, deep pit, but down there I can just make out something wrong, squirming around. Glimpses of eyes, teeth, and tentacles coming in and out of the darkness. Man, am I happy for that grate. Another pit, another unseen creature writhing at the bottom. The stuff that nightmares are made of. Terrifying. A plain, scratched metal panel of sorts. Looks stuck in place. Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. It's stuck. Looks like this door somehow slides into the wall. No visible handle. Could this lead to the butcher's inner sanctum? Stay out, mooks. Its only feature is a big red button. That button's begging to be pressed. Press this button, worm, and we all die. I don't like my chances of surviving that. Gotta think of another way. Nothing to remove or perforate. No way. No way. It's not an immediate... No point in doing that. It's no help here. Wouldn't want to freeze this. Katype's got leverage. It seems to control some kind of security apparatus. Probably put in place in case one of those creatures escapes. Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. Looks like a view of this room from above. And there's a cage hanging overhead. I don't know what that is, but it wants me dead. It's horrid. No time for that. I ain't touching it.
I hate to admit it, but I was shaken. Experiments are not scientific reality or abhorrent supernatural nightmare. These horrible blobs of flesh, limb, and rot existed. I could still smell their indescribable presence, even though they were all gone. God knows where. It really takes a lot to shake me, but I... I was shaken. A bunch of pebbles. Must have fallen from the ceiling when the cage descended. Nice pebbles. Yeah, I might need these. A sturdy piece of wood. Nothing I can't handle. I was in. I was inside the butcher's inner sanctum and I had expected this place to be lousy with guts and gore and parts and pieces, but, but this wasn't that. This was, well, colorful. Colorful in a way that makes a Joe uneasy and it set me to wondering what this guy had for triangles. So many triangles. I've noticed these dust mounds everywhere around here. What the heck are these things? This stuff looks similar to the stuff in Flamel's place. Huddle! Huddle together, lovelies! What? Ugh, no. Who knows what this stuff actually is? I've noticed these... couple of vertical openings. Something's missing here. Some kind of switch was definitely present here, but it's been broken off. Just break it off, break it little off. fly. It's an uneducated guess, but judging by the number of cables coming out of this thing, it might be what powers everything in here. I want to operate it so bad. Just break it off, break it little... Off. Of all the things in here, those alone seem to justify this nutter's nickname. They look pretty disturbing. And triangular, most of them. No apparent sign of use, but could be just cleaned him real well. This won't hurt a bit, little worm. I'm not touching them. It's a stylized painting of a human head. It's uh, pretty generic looking. I doubt it represents anyone in particular. Moths to the flames. My contribution. I don't feel good about this no apparent way of directly interacting with it. Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. I want to operate it so bad. Right. Point right! An assortment of books, but they're all written in what's either an alphabet unknown to me or code. Can't make heads or tails of these letters. These are not for you! They're no use to me. I stared at the Kraken head, and it seemed to stare back at me with its blood red eyes. A little unsettling, I had to silently say to myself. Red veins ran all over the hideous head, seeming to pulsate right under the skin, 
despite the fact that this was just a painting. I don't think I'd hang this thing above my work desk, no matter the circumstances. Everything proceeds Everything and you shall breathe true life. Who? True life? Was it dead to begin with? An assortment of books, but they're all written in... Can't make... Is this wretched world prepared for him? <laughs> Not likely. Not likely. This must be the butcher's desk. It's littered with discarded pages full of gibberish or code. Worms. Worms. Fly. A strange, strange device. Seems to be out of power. Do as father tells you, little one. And there it was, a loose handle hanging conspicuously from the door of an empty cabinet. It looked like something I could probably use. Stupid flies need to learn. Yeah, this fits, but if this is a power generator, it might make for a shocking experience. Doesn't fit. Some kind of control panel looks embedded in this area of the wall, along with the shelves. Yeah, this fits, but if this is a power generator... They already had. I don't see. I've put a nice round hole in it. All right, got myself a shock free switch. Yes, power's back on. No idea how to use this.
step out from step between out. the story's lines. It's definitely... <laughs> Nothing on the cover but a triangle. This better not be written in gibberish. This thing must hold some important information. Bring the world to its knees. Rest, friend. It's a small piece of ripped cloth caught on the edge here. Whoever they were, I really hope they didn't end up in the darkness below. Idiot! Idiot. Left toward the bay, right toward the EOD! Get it through your thick skull! Whatever passage used to be here, it's now a big, black, intimidating hole. If this used to lead to Kraken Bay, well, it don't anymore. Just leads down. Take. And what did we do? Trusted the Butcher, put our faith in the Carnifex. Double-crossed by that... that freak! Denying the Dreamer his meal, running away with it. That was his payment for our stupid, misplaced loyalty. How do you think this looks like in the eyes of Father Dagon, huh? And I tell you right now, it is as clear as pure seawater to me that the starry knowledge was always behind that lunatic. I know some of you do not see the starry fools as a threat. Ha! You think me mad? You think I am making this up? This very night, a false preacher was spouting blasphemies about Mother Hydra and Father Dagon right outside the Finman house. Good thing a true believer cast the first stone. Well, egg. And the crowd swiftly dealt with the poisonous snake. B -b but it happened. Truly it has happened in our fishmouth during our festival. Kooky, freakish cultists. What have we done, brothers? I don't want them to know I'm here. I can't. 
can't throw the hunter's mark that far. Look at those idiots. Can you even begin to imagine what the repercussions will be? They can curse you! I cannot! I will not! Son of a nibula! Huh? That's strange. The meal. What fools we were. Son of a squid. What did the butcher call it? Blank, this blank, little blank. one. Neighbor may be a shadowy agent of that forever cursed haunter. Haunter curse you. Huh? Haunter? He did butcher us, didn't he? In the face of Dagon, praise his dark name. What will Suffering Father Dagon feed the dreamer now? Stars fall on you! Huh? Stars? I thought these guys were all about fish. Enough of this masquerade! I knew it! Treason! There is but one true god, you fish-loving heathens! And his name is the Haunter! How dare you speak that name in the house of Dagon! You broke into our temple and stole the Dramosahedron! Now you're going to pay! We'll feed you to the fish! Give us the book! Now you give us the book! Oh my god, little kid! What are you doing? As Rome burned and Nero watched and fiddled, so too we witnessed the fish take vengeance on the fishermen. Not sure it's the right comparison, Mr. Bizarra. I'm just worried about the kid. No need, Gramps. I'm well and happy. No one's hurting the fishies anymore, and their bellies are nice and full now. You really shouldn't have witnessed that. Except you sort of made it happen. Well, it's all over now, Grandpa. Look. Water's draining, and the fishies are returning home. A perfect ending of the festival for everyone. Hooray! <sighs> Don't call me Grandpa. <laughs> Okie doke. I'll be on my way. Before Mom and Dad and Grandma notice that I'm missing. It's been fun. See you around. Take care, kid. Crazy world we live in, huh, Mr. Basara? Thank you for your business, by the way. I sincerely don't know whether thanks are in order. I... I'm more confused with each passing hour, but my resolve grows stronger. So, what are you doing in this building of all places? Keeping tabs on the esoteric order? Looking for Olmstein? Sightseeing? You might joke about the sightseeing, but that is part of why I'm here. 
All across this accursed world, the storm rages ever more powerful, and I strongly expect some kind of... some kind of sign soon. What sign? And why here of all places? Maybe a reason for a bell to ring through a terrible storm. News sure does travel fast. This is the highest steeple in Fishmouth, with the grandest, most resonant bell in miles. This is where I'll wait for a sign, for as long as it takes. And awaken the beast? How do we know that's a good thing? We don't, but it is written, so it shall come to be. This could be the start of a fascinating philosophical debate, if only we had time. I need answers. I need to know what the hell's going on here. Ask. I've come across terrible things in the Butcher's pits. What were they? It is clear to me that Fishmouth holds more secrets than can be dug at in this small window of time we have, and time is not on our side. Not since we found that damn Necronomicon. Some use it to spawn horrible monsters. Some, to make cats speak. Some might say it's the same thing. How do we fix that? What Olmstein allowed, Olmstein can undo. Find the enemy, thwart his plans, and Olmstein will reward you. I wish I had your confidence, Barnabas. There is this sign that's associated with Olmstein. Tell me what you think it means. Could be the visual representation of a formula, a constellation. Could be a map. Hmm. Thanks. I'll give it some thought. Help us find and stop this butcher, Barnabas. Carnifex Cerebralis. What did you find out from scouring Fishmoth in its festival hours, Seeker? The butcher was definitely in cahoots with. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. I'm convinced he used them to raise some kind of sea creature, codenamed MCHK. The half Gufa. And what of its purpose? The meal. That's what they called it. These EOD kooks thought they were raising the sea monster as an edible tribute to Dagon. They trusted the Butcher. Huh. He obviously took his meal, this MCHK, whatever it is, and, and escaped. Question is, where'd he go? Any ideas? Not exactly, but keep this in mind. Olmstein always watches, and always leaves something behind to push you in the right direction. Well, ain't that nice of him. There is this sign. Tell me what you- Could- uh, Could- Hmm. I don't have- Just- I don't have- I've got- I gotta meet Buzz and Peace and try to put the pieces together. The other guide you. Do your best to find out where the Butcher is headed, and put an end to his plans, whatever they are. I will stay here and- Wait for a sign. See ya, Barney. Don't call me that. <laughs>